YouTube family, what is going on, man? It is your boy, and I am back, man. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button, hit the like and share button, man. Let's run these videos up, man. But if you're an existing subscriber of mine, I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know 100. I appreciate y'all, man. Please go ahead, do me a favor, man. Share these videos. Hit them like button, hit them likes on this video, man. But most of all, man, drop me a comment, man. I love to hear what people are thinking about some of these sneakers, man. I love y'all opinion and interaction as far as some of these sneakers go because I'm a sneaker head and I love to talk to sneaker. So, you know, if you ever want to talk sneaker, man, the comment section is there for y'all, man. Go ahead, hit them comment sections up, man. But without further ado, man, let's talk about this sneaker, man. Like I said, man, this sneaker is such a big, big sleeper, man. Um, bam. Bam. And it reads, Jordan 14, black, black, white. Um, these, I did, in fact, get them in a nine and a half this time. Not because I wear a nine and a half, but simply because when I went to go pick up my sneaker, um... The box was dirty and it was busted and beat up. Um, and for some reason, they had some, some like some, like someone was eating chips. This one have a little bit of it too, like right there. But it's not as bad as the other one. They had it on the box, they had it on the shoes, and I was not going for it. So, by default, I realized that me getting the Jordan. 14 silhouette in a size nine and a half they actually fit a little bit more comfortable than i than i thought i always just get them in a nine and just you know rock out with them and um i mean they're always all right but i feel like a nine and a half is just so much i like it so by default a dirty box and uh you know just just you know poor customer service at um at our foot locker I wind up discovering that um, going with a nine and a half in the size um, in the Jordan 14 silhouette is a better choice for me. But without further ado, man, let's really dive into these sneakers, man, and, see, and talk about why am I really, really here? These sneakers, and I feel like um, they're one of they're one of the the biggest sleeper um, for the end of the year. We have we have had some sleepers. Um, I felt like the Jordan 4 Craft, that was a huge sleeper. I felt like the um, the Jordan 3 Midnight, Na uh, Midnight Navy, that was a big sleeper. So we had a lot of sleeper at the end of the year. And I feel like it's because a lot of those sneakers was kind of overshadowed by a lot of big drops that we was getting. Or a lot of anticipated drops that we was getting. Such as the Colby Reverse Grinch Pro Show 6. The Powerpuff Girl, you had three Powerpuff Girl um, sneakers that dropped in one day. Um, also you have the, um, the Gift of Mamba 4 that just dropped, what, last week or something like that. So, we had a lot of dope sneakers that dropped in the midst of some of these really, really clean, underrated sleeper sneaker that dropped such as this one, man. Um, also, let me check. Definitely got a YDM sticker in here. Definitely. Uh, yeah, got a YDM sticker in there, but these sneakers, man, in my honest opinion, is a, is a clean sneaker. If I had to go ahead and do anything different about these sneaker, um, I would have not gone, I would have rather them not gone with this rough suede, because for some reason, this rough suede tends to, you know, age and lightens up a lot and i really don't like that um if you look you can see you know just sometime by the sneaker just sitting in the box it'll like kind of like scuff that that rough suede and kind of make it a little ashy so that um you know i, I can i can kind of see why a lot of people stay away from that material now if i had to go with something else this suede on the on the on the tongue is soft it's not that rough suede and i would feel i would have much rather them gone with this material on the entire shoe as opposed to the um the material that they picked so that's my little tidbit on that we do get a paper shoe tree and you know your standard nike uh jordan 
insole, nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top. Like I said, I went with a size 14 um, by default and I turned out to like them. Um, but I would highly, highly, highly encourage anyone who really, really, really did not give this shoe a shot, really didn't take a look at it, just stop at your local um, sneaker store. Um, I know the, we, I know we, um, we received the, in my area, we, uh, we received them at Foot Locker, JD Sports, Foot Locker, JD Sports, and Snipes. Um, I didn't remember seeing these at DTLR, but I'm pretty sure they probably got them by now. But uh, JD Sports, Foot Locker, and Snipes are the ones that I'm aware of, and I'm sure for 100% gotten them. Um, they are in fact sitting on shelf and. I feel like again such a big sleeper sneaker man and I would highly recommend you if you're second guessing it you don't have to go in and buy it you don't have to pick it up just stop in there and see and pick them up look at them man they are a great looking sneaker the colorway again is in my honest opinion a great colorway it's a black and white sneaker it's not lazy it's not boring and I feel like you can do a lot with a black and white sneaker and also it's a Jordan 14 silhouette so it's not a bad silhouette it's definitely a clean dope looking sneaker and I really like them um, also when I get these sneaker with these rough suede I have a, um, a soft long hair suede brush and I normally just you know use that to get any like impurity or or, or you know um, box crease or any rubbing like that from the box and that kind of like make the sneaker a lot cleaner when you hit it with that suede brush so i mean that long suede brush so again man um this one is um is um actually a kiwi brand if um if y'all want to go ahead and pick y'all up one of these for you know when you have sneakers like these that have these kind of material that really helps out a lot so i mean check them out man do not do not do not give up on these yet they are a lit sneaker and they are a fire pair of sneaker man like i said you already see just that little just how that just just by just by hitting it with that brush how it really like you know take that sneaker and just bring everything all together so again check them out let me know what y'all think about it man but like i said man definitely a crazy dope sneaker and a big sleeper sneaker man it is your boy again man like i said man please 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 do not forget to like comment and subscribe man hit me up in that comment section man let's talk sneakers man hell Let's have a conversation. Let me know, man. 2024 is a new year. Let's do this, man. Let me get at y'all, man. It's your boy, man. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. As always, y'all already know, man. Sneaker drop. And I'm out. Peace.